Hi guys, so we are going to look into this question. Yeah. So when chlorine gas is bubbled into FeSO4, yeah. So I will write it down over here, which is going to be Cl2. Okay, you have Cl2 and then FeSO4. So we are talking about Fe2 plus. Okay. The color of the solution changes from pale green to yellow. Yeah, pale green to yellow. So do remember in aqueous uh, solution of uh, chlorine, yeah, chlorine is going to be pale green. Yeah, so it is slowly changing into yellow. Yeah, so most likely, yeah, if you look at Fe three plus, okay, uh, we can actually say that Fe three plus is probably changing into Fe three plus. Yeah, so Fe two plus changing into Fe three plus, okay, because Cl two can be an oxidizing agent. Yeah. Uh, but okay, later we'll check using the E values. Yeah. So when this happens also, okay, we need to know that this is going to be uh, green. Yeah. And you can see the color just not pale green. So maybe uh, Cl2 and Fe2 plus, yeah, green, yeah, pale green, yeah, yellowish green. So they will give you the pale green. Yeah. And Fe3 plus, the color, yeah, is going to be brown. And we know that Cl2 will change into 2Cl minus, which is colorless, yeah, if that happens, yeah. So colorless, okay. So I think most likely, yeah, the uh, the yellowish color, okay, is given, yeah, by this uh, Fe3 plus, which is actually turning into brown, okay. So that is our, uh, what we feel, yeah, might be happening. So what we need to do is to look into the E values, yeah. You can actually look at the data from the data booklet. So I took all the necessary uh, information from the data booklet and then put it over here okay so one is actually a uh, standard reduction potential yeah so you can see cl2 okay so this is going to be positive okay 136 and i also yeah uh, took uh, anything that is uh, related to fe2 plus okay and fe2 plus over here so i took yeah all this information and in the beginning yeah we know that okay we started with cl2 Okay, when we started with Cl2, so of course we are referring to this Cl2 changing into Cl minus. So uh, we are dealing with 1.36. Okay, if you compare this 1.36, yeah, with uh, the remaining two equations over here, okay, both, yeah, you can see this is more positive. 1.36 is more positive than 0 0.77 and more positive than negative 0 0.44. Okay, we know that last time we learned, okay, if this one goes to the right. Okay, it means the rest, okay, most likely they will go to the left, yeah. So they will go here, they will go here, okay. But if you follow left, yeah, for uh, this equation, you see Fe is changing into Fe2+. plus. Okay, so we don't have Fe over here, yeah, we only have Fe2+, plus, yeah. So therefore, this one, okay, will not be uh, suitable, yeah, for our, uh, uh, for our situation over here. Okay, the one that is going to be suitable over here is going to be uh, the one okay, that uh, these two uh, equations here, half equations over here, okay, which is going to be what we are going to use. Yeah? So uh, if you want to uh, mention about here, yeah, you can see that okay, we know that Cl2, okay, they will actually receive the two electron, okay, they will give you two Cl minus, okay, we maintain positive 1.36. And okay, this one since it's actually less than 1.36, okay, we will shift okay the way that we write Fe2 plus. I will invert the way that I write the equation and I will put Fe3 plus and then plus electron now because I invert negative 0 0.77. Okay, when I add these two equations, yeah, so make sure that I need to uh, make sure that the electron is cancelled. Yeah, so I need to times this by two. Okay, times this by two, times this by two. Yeah, so that I can cancel the electron, but do not, okay, do not go and times this by two. Okay, the only thing that will change, okay, with the E value is going to be either positive or negative. So you do not need to times by two whenever you balance the, you're trying to uh, times by two. Uh, two, three, and so on with the electron to balance uh, the equation. So no need, yeah, no need. It can be changed into positive or negative only. So now, yeah, so I will keep it as it, uh, as it is, okay? So I will add these two equations together. So I will get, yeah, Cl2, yeah, plus 2 Fe2 plus, 
the electron and electron will cancel. Yeah, so I am going to get uh, two Cl minus plus two Fe three plus. This is the equation that will happen. Okay, but if they ask you, yeah, if they ask you what is the E value, okay, the E value is going to be, you add these two, it's going to be 1.36, okay, plus negative 0 0.77. So if I calculate, so it's going to be, I'm going to get 0 0.59, yeah. So that is going to be a positive value. So the E value, okay, the E cell, okay, is going to be 0 0.59, positive value. Okay, that will indicate that this reaction will happen. Yes, yeah, spontaneous. Okay, now, so this one, okay, use uh, the data. Okay, uh, sorry, not spontaneous yet. Yeah, it's actually feasible. Yeah, wrong term, feasible. Now, use the data, okay, from the data booklet, okay, to explain this observation. Okay, one thing that you need to take note is going to be because of the new revision of the syllabus, yeah, starting from uh, 2022, yeah, all these exams that you're going to take. Okay, paper one, Okay, paper two and paper four, we are no longer, okay, uh, for CIE exam, uh, CAIE exam 9701, yeah, we are no, no longer going to provide data booklet. So what will happen, you are no longer going to see this kind of question, yeah, uh, say use the data from the data booklet, all the information will be given for you in the question paper itself. Okay, so this one, please take note, so you will be affected because next year you'll be taking this paper four. So it's going to be no data booklet, yeah. So uh, we need to use the data. So I gave you all the data here that is required here. So I have uh, shown you here. So what we need to do, we need to include an equation in your answer, yeah, so you need to, mention yeah so these two equations that i use okay so you write down fe3 plus plus electron to give you fe2 plus positive 0 0.77 okay and then cl2 okay plus two electron give you two cl minus positive okay uh, 1.36 okay that's the e value okay so and then okay uh, you can just say, okay, Cl2, okay, will oxidize, okay, oxidize Fe2+, plus, okay, to become Fe3+, plus, okay, therefore, okay, therefore, okay, the, uh, the solution changes from pale green to yellow, okay? So the full equation, the full ionic equation is, okay, you can write down Cl2 plus 2Fe2 plus to give you 2Cl minus plus 2Fe3 plus, you take from here. And if you want, you can write down the E cell is going to be positive 0 0.59. Okay, done. Yeah, done. Now, so the next question, yeah, so we'll go for the next question. Yeah, so if a solution, yeah, of a chloride ion is added, okay, to this complex, okay, and equilibrium is established, okay, so this one we are looking into K step, yeah. So this one uh, we have learned, Okay, which is going to be uh, related to uh, stability. Yeah, uh, so we are going to use this K step. Yeah, K step stability constant. Yeah, so a stability constant. Okay, we need to consider. Okay, the equation. Okay, something like what we have learned under further uh, further express uh, further uh, aspects of equilibrium. Okay, so therefore, okay, so when we write the case step, okay, we write, okay, Fe, okay, this one, Cl4 minus, okay, so I think I still put S to show that this is going to be, okay, uh, concentration, okay, to the power of one, okay, I will not include water, yeah, because water is going to be, uh, in large excess, okay, so we are going to uh, regard this as constant, yeah, so water will not come in in this equation, so divided by, okay, concentration of, okay, I'll write down Fe H2O6, and then they put 3 plus, just to show it's a concentration, I'll put a bigger, okay, uh, 
a bigger bracket over there. And then, okay, times with CL minus, okay, and then to the power of four because there's four there. That is going to be our expression. The important thing to note is going to be do not include water. Yeah, that is important. Now, for the above equilibrium, okay, the numerical value is going to be given. So we are going to calculate okay, the concentration of this in solution in which okay, the other concentrations are given. Okay, so we just need to replace the values. So I'll just put 0 0.080 equals to Okay, FECL4 is going to be 0 0.1, okay, divided by, okay, we are looking for this, okay, FEH2O6, 3 plus, okay, we are looking for this over here. CL4 is going to be, CL, CL negative is going to be 2, yeah, 2 to the power of uh, 4, okay. So we just need to find out the value, yeah, the concentration of FeH2O6 3 plus is going to be 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.08 okay, times, okay, uh, this one is going to be uh, 2 times 2 times 2 is going to be 8, 8 and 16. Yeah, times by 16. So we will calculate this. Okay, so once we calculate, okay, let me calculate fast. Okay. So you will get 16 times 0 0.08, 1.28. So 0 0.1 divided by 1.28. So 0 0.1 divided by 1.28 you will get 0 0.078125, yeah? So we want to have that, okay, in uh, three significant figures, okay? You can just write down as 0 0.0781 mole per dm cube, or, okay, you can write down as 7.81, okay, 1 to 10 negative 2 mole per dm cube. Okay, that will be your answer, yeah? So if we go and uh, check, yeah? So let's actually check the answer key. Okay, you can see, okay, 0 0.078, okay, one, so which is correct. Okay, and then this one is over there. Okay, and if you compare, okay, you quote the values, and then Fe2 plus, Fe3 plus, okay, so, Fe2 plus, Fe3 plus, all correct, yeah? So that's it, guys, yeah, thank you.